Okay, it's June 23rd, 2015, and I am scared. <laughs> We've been here for five days, and Andrew's already told me the most ridiculous story about this woman who used to live here like 10 years ago when the house um, actually caught on fire and her face got burnt off. Thought it was just ridiculous, he always tries to scare me, but I've been hearing the craziest noise around this house, and I just want to be able to record it so I know that I'm not crazy because it is freaking me out. <sighs> I swear I always think something was behind me. Apparently the legend goes that she steals people's faces because she lost her own. Haven't been able to sleep at all and it's it's become a little bit too much. I don't know what to do anymore. I can't do this. I'm such a Okay, um, today is day two. Um, I think I saw her in my dreams last night. This sounds so stupid. I just need to catch it on camera because I swear I'm seeing things. I sound like I'm going crazy. Oh my god, what the hell was that? I need to stop. This is this is getting ridiculous. Silly girl. Welcome to the second challenge for the NYX Face Awards Paranormal Activity. Let's get right into it. Today, I'm going to be going through the steps on how to create a face stealing ghost. So first things first, I'm going to slick back my hair using my Redken Finishing Hairspray. And I'm just using a brush to slick everything back and then putting my hair up in a high bun and finishing it off with some more hairspray. Alrighty, now time for the fun part. So I'm taking a silicone modeling compound and using my spatula, I'm going to apply that to my face in very small parts at a time so that I have as much control as possible. You want this to look as natural as possible, I guess you could say. You really want to make it look like it's coming from your skin. Then I'm taking a brush that's soaked in 99% alcohol to smooth out the edges and that's really gonna help it blend into your natural skin. Then taking my spatula once again and really lifting up the edges once it's about, I would say 90% dry to make it look Look like it's a flap of skin basically and then you just want to continue that all around your face next you want to create a circle that's right underneath the one that you just created and this is really going to create the effect that we're going for and then you basically want to do the exact same thing by applying the product smoothing it out and then lifting up the edges to create flappy looking skin to make it look a little bit more realistic you want to make the circle a little bit irregular and not so perfect Next, I'm taking my NYX HD Studio Finishing Powder and just applying that on top of the wound to cancel out any shine. Then taking my NYX foundation and I'm just going to apply that on the inside of my face to create a nice and perfect canvas because this is going to be like the person's face and not the ghost face. Then I'm taking a cream makeup and I mixed it myself and I made this like grayish blue color and I'm applying that literally everywhere else. So down my neck, on the outside of the wound, on my ears, on my shoulders, basically everywhere that you're going to actually see. And then I'm taking a smaller detail brush to make sure that all the crevices of the wound are covered in cream makeup. Now I'm taking my NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer and applying that underneath my eyes and then blending it out with my finger to make sure that I have no dark circles. So now I'm taking my NYX blush in taupe and on a big fluffy brush I'm just going to apply that on top of all of the cream makeup that we just applied to make everything look a little bit more gray. And now time to make some irritation. So I'm taking my alcohol activated paint and a q-tip that's dipped in 99% alcohol and I'm applying that on the edges of the inside wound to make it look really irritated and I'm also putting it on the actual flap of skin to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then I'm filling in the wound with some dark red alcohol activated paint to make a really nice base for the fake blood that we are going to be applying a little bit later. So make it as dark as you want because it's going to be covered up anyway. Now to fill in and define my brows I'm taking my NYX micro brow because even if somebody just ripped off my face my brows still have to look good and of course taking my spoolie just to blend out the color a little bit then taking my NYX eyebrow gel and I'm going to be using this to set my brows taking my NYX eyeshadow and I have a headache I'm applying that all over my lid and all the way up to my brow bone to have a nice base for the rest of the eyeshadow then taking my NYX eyeshadow in Blame It On Midnight and I'm applying that right above my crease as my transition shade and also to add a little bit of warmth to the look. And then taking my NYX eyeshadow in Skinny Dip and applying that right underneath the last one and just using it to define my eye a little bit because we are really focusing on the liner today. 
And now speaking of liner, I'm taking my NYX Cobalt Blue Gel Eyeliner and I'm using this to create a pretty dramatic wing. So I'm first lining my whole entire lash line and then I'm going to start building up a pretty large wing on the outer corner of my eye and then filling everything in. Then taking my NYX Felt Tip Eyeliner and pretty much creating a smaller version of the wing that I just created inside of the Cobalt Blue to make it look like the blue is really just peeking through just a little bit. Then I'm taking my NYX Lip Liner in Bloom and I'm using that to line my lips in order to prep them for the matte lip cream that we are going to be applying right about now. So I'm taking my Soft Matte Lip Cream in Prague and just filling my lips in with this. I really love the way the pink looks with the blue. I think it complements it beautifully. For my blush, I'm taking my NYX Blush in Hamptons and just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and blending it out with my finger so it's not too harsh. I'm now taking my NYX Skinny Mascara and applying that to my lashes, prepping them for the fall seeds which we are applying right about now. So you just want to pop those on. Alright, so the safety pins are basically like the icing on the cake. You want to be very careful with this, but you basically just want to put the safety pin through the silicone that we applied earlier and it's going to create the coolest effect ever. Now I'm taking fake blood and lots of it and I'm applying that within the wound and this really finishes off the look and makes it look uber realistic. So you just want to put a ton of it within the wound and don't be afraid to be a little bit messy with it because blood is never neat. And then I'm taking a different kind of blood which is a little bit more liquidy and I'm layering it on top. And then taking a q-tip just to dab it outside of the wound to once again make it look a little bit messier. Once you're done that, you're pretty much done the super scary makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and do not forget that if you did, that you could vote for me three times a day starting today for a week on the NYX Face Awards website. I will leave a link in the description box down below. And of course, do not forget to use the hashtag TeamJPB to show your support. I love you guys so much and I appreciate all the support that you've been giving me. You are the best and let's make it to the top 12. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.